I'm Zach and I'm with Hardy North America and today I'm going to show you how to rebuild the Hardy pressure regulator. As always when you're working on your Hardy sprayer that's had any type of chemical ran through it, please remember your proper PPE. That would be your full face shield, rubber gloves, and a jumpsuit with full sleeves. The regulator I'll be using today is one I grabbed right off our assembly line which has had no chemical run through it so I will not be using any of these products today. The tools you will need are a Phillips set screwdriver, and depending on the age of your pressure regulator, you could need a Torx T20 screwdriver, a seven millimeter wrench, some vegetable oil, and the Hardy repair kit. The part number is located at the bottom of the screen. The first step is to remove the motor from the housing. We will do that by removing the four screws Two at the bottom, two at the top. The motor is threaded on with left hand threads, so meaning we will have to turn this motor in the opposite direction than what we think to remove it from the housing. The next step is to remove the plunger and the sleeve from the housing. To do this, we will remove the four screws. As you see, there's two on the inside and there's two on the outside of this housing. Screws removed, we should be able to pull this plunger and the sleeve away from this housing. Step three is we're gonna pull this sleeve off here, like so, and that's gonna reveal our plunger. Now we'll take our seven millimeter wrench and remove this nut. We'll pull the plunger off. The contents of the kit include a replacement nut, a replacement plunger, a replacement sleeve, four o-rings, and four screws. First thing we'll do is we'll take our sleeve here and our brown o-ring and there's a little groove inside of our sleeve that this brown o-ring needs to sit into. To make it easier we'll take a little dab of vegetable oil and lubricate the inside. Once we get it started, we should be able to walk it around. Just like that. Okay. Next, we'll go ahead and put our plunger on. And our nut. Now that we have our plunger on, we can take our sleeve and put the two replacement o-rings on that as well. We have two o-rings here, one for the top and one for the bottom. To do that, we'll take a little dab of vegetable oil, go around the top, and we'll go around the bottom of it. We'll slide our o-rings on. Next we'll put our sleeve on. As you can see, we have a little groove in our sleeve that needs to match up with this little notch that uh, holds our plunger in. You can see you can only put it on one way, so you can't put it on backwards. Last step is we'll take our larger size o-ring here and that needs to go around the base. To do that, we'll grab a little bit of vegetable oil, put it around the base here, and we'll slide our larger ring on. All right, now we'll go ahead and put our plunger and our sleeve back into the housing. Should be able to push right into there. Okay, now we're ready to put our four screws back in. There's two on the outside and our two on the inside. And finally, we're ready to reattach the motor to the housing. Remember, as we said in the beginning, these are left-hand threads, so we do need to turn it the opposite way to cinch it back down.
Okay, once it's cinched down, we can go ahead and put our screws back in. Now we'll give it a couple turns to make sure it's working properly. We can hear it spinning. And it appears to be working properly. Thank you for watching this short video. If you have any other questions about how to rebuild your pressure regulator, please contact your local hardware dealer. We also want to remind you to follow us on all social media platforms for more service-related videos.